Hi guys, welcome back to Finances for Gen Z, the show where I teach you how to manage your money in this economy. Today, we're going to be talking about budgeting. Budgeting is very important to help you keep track of your expenses, your money, to make sure that you don't spend unnecessarily or to just help you save for the future. Budgeting can also help you avoid any unnecessary debt so you don't go around borrowing. Let's assume we're working with a budget plan of 60,000 Naira, but don't worry, I'm going to use percentages to make it easy to adapt to any budget that you have. First of all, I'm going to start with food. Food is very essential for survival and it is very expensive right now. So it's going to take up the biggest portion of our budget. And for food, we're going to use 35% of our budget, which is 21,000 Naira on food every month. In order to save money, it's better to buy in bulk at the beginning of the month rather than buying in smaller portions or buying a smaller quantity, which would make you spend more. Also, try to cook instead of eating out or ordering food every time. Having a food timetable can also help with this so that you know exactly what you're cooking when you're cooking it. Next is water. Water is also very essential. So water takes up 5% of the budget, which is, in this instance, 3,000 Naira. In order to save money on water, opt for pure water instead of bottled water. But be careful the kind of pure water you're buying because of diseases. Next is school activities. School activities takes up 8% of our budget, which is 5,000 Naira. To save money on school activities, go for school activities that are free rather than going for the ones that you have to pay for, unless you don't have a choice. Next on the budget is miscellaneous, which consists of things like medicine, stationery, healthcare, personal hygiene products, things like that. That takes up 16% of the budget, which is 10,000 Naira. For personal care items like skincare, soap, shampoo things like that it is better to buy it in bulk also you can buy bigger bottles of shampoo bigger bottles of body wash things like that that will last for months instead of buying smaller in smaller quantity to save money also for the ladies making cornrows short twists or short braids with your natural hair could be more cost effective than making hair with attachments next is airtime and data this will take up 8% of the budget, which is 5,000 Naira. At the beginning of the month, always remove at least 5,000 Naira for airtime and data so you can keep up with school activities and updates. Next on the list is savings. This takes up 10% of the budget, which is 6,000 Naira. Savings are very important for in case you have an emergency or anything you need to spend money on that you cannot remove from your budget. It's also important to have an emergency fund. It's also important to have an emergency fund. This takes up 9% of the budget which is also 5,000 Naira. An emergency fund is important for things like healthcare, in case you are, like you fall sick or you just have like something very important that you need to pay for or you have a rainy day and you need money to fall back on. Okay, emergency fund brings us to the end of my list and this is just a basic framework of how to set your budget for the month. But budgeting is very essential for every student to do because putting your allowance on paper before you get it helps you set down how much you know, how what you are going to spend and how you are going to spend it in order to avoid unnecessary expenses or having to borrow or anything like that with all that being said here are some tips on how to stick to your budget when you're in school first of all you can get an app or software that can help you to track your spending you can like put instead of writing it down on paper you can put it into the app and then they'll give you notifications on how much you've spent and things like that to help you keep track of your expenses you can also regularly review and adjust your budget so you can stay on track you can also meal prep which is basically preparing your meals in advance or preparing like a schedule or a timetable for your meals in order to help you save money on food so you don't have to be buying food every single time you can already have the food down so you don't have to be stressed about it during classes and things like that Lastly, you can also take advantage of student discounts on food, entertainment, transportation and other things that people might be offering so that you can save money on those things. A good budget gives you a good approach to managing your monthly allowance so that you're not just spending money on the necessary things before you not be broke before the end of the month. It also helps you ensure that all your essential needs are met, that you have food down for the month, you have water down. And it can also give you save. You can also allow you to have savings and emergency money just in case. Remember, the key to maintaining your budget is consistency. If you keep doing it, then you get used to it, and you don't spend outside of your budget plan. That's all for today. Thank you for tuning into Finances with Gen Z. I remain your host, Eniola. Please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification button to see more videos from us. 
and also let me know if you have any topics that you want me to cover until next time bye